just quick boom yo ray nigga that's it simple you feel me just like that okay next question why do you like derrick rose so much do you want to suck his big hairy cork okay so look no i know we joke, joke around with the such shit no such shit with derrick rose i look at him like a like a father my boy and i don't know dog like 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 in 2009 i was just watching the bull i was just watching kahoot and i was like yo he's moving different bro like he moving different but i tried to lie to myself i tried to lie this is how you know i tried to lie to myself because i'm from florida you supposed to like the heat you supposed to like the heat and lebron slid and then lebron slid and shit and, and bosh so you gotta like the heat so i said fuck that i was in denial i only like the heat fuck that but i couldn't help but watch bulls games i couldn't stop myself i said fuck that no i'm like i'm born and raised florida i'm a florida nigga and then when they went up against each other in the play no, no not even the playoffs in the regular season in 2010 2011 regular season and the bulls won like every single game and every time they fucking played each each other like i was telling myself i gotta root for the heat but every time the bulls would win or derrick rose do some crazy i was like oh my god oh he's so cool and like i just we just he just became my favorite player bro he just became i just became the biggest derrick rose fan of all. i bought all his shoes he i was defending i came to school like in the playoffs in that 2011 playoffs i finally stopped lying to myself and i was like bro that's when i fully embraced it before i, I embraced it like a little bit like yeah derrick rose like he's one of my favorite players in the league but when 2011 came and they were playing each other in the playoffs, I I came out. I went. I came in school. I said, "I'm done lying about myself. I'm done lying to myself, nigga." Derrick Rose is my favorite goddamn motherfucking player in the fucking NBA, motherfucker. Said it. I came out. I came out. I came out. It is what it is. And my first really uh, moment of Derrick Rose was him as a rookie playing the Celtics. Oh, dear God, heaven, heaven of Christ. I was so in awe. Like, uh, it was just it was just like a match made. It was just it was just like that. It was just how it went, bro. And I had to defend this nigga through his injuries. And and I, I fell to my knees when he first got hurt, bro. I fell to my knees. And when he came back and tore his meniscus against the Blazers the in October, or I think it was November, that one year, in the beginning of the season, I it broke me. I was watching on my bed. On my Chromebook. I had a Chromebook, bro. And I was watching on my bed. Watching. It, it wasn't televised. Also. I had to watch it through a link, bro. One of them streaming websites. And I fell to my fucking knees, bro. He hurt himself again off of, he didn't even do nothing crazy he was just running and his heel planted a little wrong bro planted a little wrong bro yeah it is what it is and like i'm not i'm just like i'm stuck with him now like once you have a favorite player if he's really your favorite player or favorite team no matter what happens yes you might get annoyed you might cuss him out you might lose hope deep down that's your favorite player, my nigga. That is your favorite team. It is what it is. And nothing can change it. It's sad. Like, you can't just switch, my nigga. You, you, 